right guys, so here is another update video on the toy room and I'm gonna explain exactly what's gonna be going on in this uh, in this toy room. So I added some new, well you guys saw this yesterday, the new shelf that's up here, the new wall is painted and then um, the shelf right here added some lights in this. But we're gonna turn the lights on, but let me show you guys a quick little rundown on this right here so you guys can see that. And I'm gonna turn the lights on and I'm gonna explain to you what this toy room now pretty much is overall. So there is some stuff still here. You can see some boxes and some other stuff here, which is gonna be moved um, probably in about a week or so. And then same here. And we did decide we're gonna take the carpet out and we're gonna put something else down there. But uh, this wall's painted completely. We got a Joker poster right over here. Not a Joker poster, I'm sorry, a Suicide Squad movie poster right there. Um, this shelf up here isn't gonna stay the way it is, this is still gonna be a Pops figure. Look at that, a deluxe old school Independence Day figure. So cool, old school uh, Robin, Kenner, Batman and Robin figure. So the Pops still stay the same. Nothing really changed as far as Pops go. Um, I did add the the Sword of Link and the uh, Bat Light, if you guys already saw that. So this is the new stuff over here. This is the top shelf right here, which is meant to be more larger figures. Now, mind you, this isn't everything that I have, okay? I will do uh, a full room tour once, you know, the, the finished product is finally complete. I love how I figured out how to display my bat planes and they got it right over here too. I use a doll stand, right? Because I was like, where am I going to put this bat? How am I going to display the bat planes? And uh, it has a little hole, uh, handles right here, and it, it looks beautiful. It looks like a bat. I think he had a display like that in the movie Batman Forever, too. And then you got the other one right here from the animated series. Here are some of the DC collectibles and Mezco figures. I got this uh, Dark Knight figure from Mezco on a horse, which is cool. Some Dark Knight Returns figures, Batman Beyond, the DC icons, all right here. And again, there's going to be more stuff here, so I still got to put some of this stuff out. Some of the, uh, the um, old school Adam West figures right here, the Batmobile. There's still some more figures that I got to put up here too on those. The bottom shelf was a brown one and uh, my girlfriend spray painted it black. There is some LED lights under there. There's a little mirror there too. Now these are some of the vehicles. As you can see there's uh, the Bat Missile, the vintage Bat Missile and uh, some vintage figures right there. Some of the animated series you can see here. There's the Batmobile, Batwing. I got to figure out where that's going to go once it comes in. And uh, we come down here, here's some more Batman the Animated Series. I think there's still a couple that I have to put up here. I have to check the uh, the box of figures. And then right here are some more vintage vehicles and whatnot. I'm gonna be displaying the full on vintage Batman lines when uh, um, some stuff gets moved around. We got this Batman over here, the Mezco, I'm sorry, the Jack Specific and the Jack Specific Beta right over here. I got this uh, 3D poster at Borders. You can see if you kind of move around I don't know if the camera's gonna pick it up, but it's a 3D art, it's a 3D print and it looks beautiful. So you got that here. This wall is painted gray. You got a Batman um, comic little poster there. Then you guys saw this X-Men one already. Still debating if I'm gonna paint this wall gray. I'm not too sure yet. Um, you got uh, the Freddy gloves. This is gonna be the little bit of a horror section, which will probably continue because we're gonna put some more shelvings on this side here. And then, you know, some of the loose pops. A little bit of uh, Batman stuff over here. You got the chess pieces, the Dark Knight uh, Returns. And uh, some of this stuff here, some of my vintage Star Wars figures. There is, there have, I still have a lot more in some of the vehicles, but we're gonna find out if we can put that anywhere. There's a Rancor right there with Luke. And I finally put up over down here, my metal die cast figures, which I absolutely love. So here's some of the collection that I have. I think this is all the stuff that I have. I could be wrong, though. I still have to check some of my Inventory, I guess this bottom one is going to be a Nintendo shelf right where the uh, plasma ball is So you got some of the 8-bit stuff there. There's another plush one of Mario I have to get out of um, some of the boxes and then these 8-bit uh, Jack specific figures so you can see there's there's a uh, link and Donkey Kong. I love those I uh, just got this Yoshi today in the mail from Amazon to go with my um, Mario right over here my 12-inch Mario, so I'm really happy you got that I got this one here, this Mario we're gonna have to display up here. There's Donkey Kong, I got Diddy Kong and a few other World of Nintendo figures that I gotta dig out of uh, uh, storage. 
Um, I got this Sonic 30th anniversary. Not, yes, it's 30th anniversary. I don't know where I got that from. Sonic Generations uh, box set. I don't know why I said 30th anniversary of um, Sonic. I got this at uh, Frank and Sons. And right here, when all this stuff comes out, there's going to be two more shelving units here to display more stuff. Again, there's going to be more shelves over here. We're going to hang up this poster. What do you guys think about this? My girlfriend actually did this. It's, she, she isn't, it's not the first one she's done. She's done some uh, art herself. So but she did this Venom little like uh, poster, I guess you can see her art or painting, which I love. I'm going to hang this up also. And then she also sculpted. This is her first sculpt. Not too bad for her first time doing the Joker. It kind of melted but it did look a little bit different. She did a Venom one too, and I don't know where I put it, but that is the room so far, guys. We are probably 90% done, because once this stuff gets moved out of the way, all this here, all that there, there's gonna be more shelves, more shelves, and a few more posters put up. Um, I'm gonna put some horror masks that I have here, and it's gonna continue around over here. I got some mannequin heads that um, I'm gonna put the masks on. Right here are my comics. So the comics are right here, there's two boxes. Of comics so you can see that right there and I still got to fill them up and that's the tour guys so far that is the toy room what do you guys think overall man I love it I mean my girlfriend calls it the happy room and I absolutely think she is right this this is so cool again my hot toys and statues are staying in my room because I have way more spawn figures not everything is gonna be um, displayed in here because I still want to put stuff in my room and in the, in the uh, review room, but this is gonna be filled with a lot of stuff, guys. Let me know what you guys think about this toy room and what you guys think I should display in here as well. Thanks for watching, guys. Hit the like button, share, and subscribe. Leave a comment down below. Give me your thoughts. See you guys later. Peace.